Did you know you could do some clever outside the box keyword research with the free tool Google Trends? Let me show you how to do some really, really cool keyword research and find keywords that are blowing up before your competitors do. So Google Trends is a free tool released by Google that allows you to check on certain keywords and see are they trending? Is the search volume now more than it was in the past? Is it increasing at a proper rate? Is it decreasing at an unfavorable rate? And you can check all this pretty easy with Google Trends. And I'll just give you a quick demo here. Let's type in something like work from home. As we can see here, work from home, you can see this is the interest over time. What we have here on the y-axis isn't any kind of real value, it's just all kind of relative. You can see here that they mark the peak at 100, so it doesn't really matter well, what is here, it's just a relative measure of value. But you can see here that this keyword, work from home, is definitely getting searched more and more over time and it continues to trend up. So some features of Google Trends is you can do a couple searches at the same time. So you could do work from home or uh, make money online. So let's see, make money online. And you can see that in comparison, work from home is obviously a, a more fruitful keyword, but um, if we were to remove this and just look at make money online, you can see that is trending up too, but just not the same peak as work from home. Other things you can do is we can change it. Instead of just targeting the United States, we can target worldwide. We can change it from 12 months to past five years. We can change the window all over the place. You can see that's still trending up as a whole. Um, we can change categories. I typically never mess with this. And then we can change it between image search, news search, Google shopping, YouTube search. But for purposes of keyword research, I'm mostly using web search, easy breezy. Now let me show you just how powerful Google Trends is for keyword research. It's super, super awesome. I'll show you an example as if I were doing keyword research for a website in the technology space. So I might be talking about topics like gaming laptops or gaming chairs or VPNs or hosting, stuff like that. So first things I'm gonna do is I'm gonna set this to United States because that's where 90% of my customers and readers are typically. I'm gonna set it to past 12 months because that's more relevant. I don't care if something was trending over the last five years. I want to know if it's trending lately and I'll keep everything else the same. And then what I'm going to do is I'm going to take a look at what are my top level categories of my websites. Again, that's going to be the same thing like gaming, laptop, gaming chair, VPN, hosting, all these kind of things. And I'll start by just typing it straight up right in there. Gaming laptop. We do a quick search. I can see that. Okay, it's good. My niche is trending upwards. That's a good sign. And then we scroll down here and what we're looking for is this kind of stuff. In the related query section, you're looking for these queries that are related to your main keyword that are in breakout mode. That means they're just flying off the charts in terms of how trendy they are. So we take a look at this Asus ROG Zephyrus G14. I have no idea what this is, but you can see this is obviously trending and probably just launched. Obviously a good idea to be one of the first people talking about this laptop, right? Or whatever it is. Go down here, here's more. Here's tons, tons more of queries that are great for you to be talking about right now. And just realize that the longer you wait, the more difficult it is. And if you can get in on the early part of the trend, you ride that wave up. So let's look at some other examples. So let's look at gaming chair. Okay, the keyword's trending, that's always good. We also have, okay, we have exact examples of what we should be talking about. The DPS, the Nemesis, the 3D Insight, all these guys are ones I should be talking about. Okay, let's get out of the realm of gaming. Let's take a look at VPN. Let's just type in VPN, all right? Okay, VPN seems to be well, pretty stable, but trending up. But the great thing is we have these breakthrough keywords here. So this Rubit VPN, uh, Nord VPN hacked, if you want to write an article about that but tons of great, great queries. And you don't have to just go for these breakouts. You can go for the ones that are trending up 700%. Like I think that's worth it too. And of course, it all, this also just doesn't work in the technology niche. Let's try dogs. Let's just use a typical pet niche keyword. Okay, dogs are becoming more popular. That's good. Good for their, their well-being. Um, we can see a whole bunch of keywords here. Can, we can talk, make an article about Dogs and the coronavirus, obviously that's gonna get some searches. Um, 
Arctic Dogs, I believe that's a documentary or something like that. So a bunch of good keywords there, but I think it's more useful when you dig down into what are the monetizable things that have to do with your niche. So let's go into dog food. So dog food, trending up, dogs need to eat, people need to search on how to feed them. Uh, here's a whole bunch of dog foods that are trending up, that's great. And one awesome thing you can do is go over here to related topics and then let's pivot into a whole different topic. Let's go dog toys, right? Dog toys trending up and great. Here's all these super hardcore trending suction dog toy, white paws, like all these, these are all breakouts. These are this out of control. So these are all great keywords for you to be writing about for your dog website. And like I said before, if you wait, it's just gonna get more challenging. If you get in early, you're gonna have those early rankings. And even if you held the same position, if your niche is trending, that traffic is gonna go up over time. I hope this opens your mind up to various ways that you can use Google Trends to do keyword research. It's working great for me. I hope it works great for you.